Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Data Center Pulse. Today I'm actually standing in the control room of the chill off test area. This is where the test engineers sit, execute each test point, run through the points and that sort of a thing. And what they're controlling is the test environment back here. So you've seen me talk about the various solutions that are in that room. But this is the test area segregated by the curtains for all the obvious reasons around controlling the parameters of the room and that sort of a thing. But like I said, this is the control area. And the reason I'm standing here today and not talking about a solution in particular, or a uh, cooling solution in particular, is that we're going to talk about the overall data aggregation and reporting system that has been so critical to the success of this program. And actually today I have with me Prajesh Bhattacharya from OSISoft. Welcome. And uh, he's going to talk about the OSI soft solution that we've been using. So you want to give us a brief overview? Thank you, Brian. Sure. And congratulations on pronouncing my last name right. Ah, thanks. <laughs> so the OSI soft price system is not just a middleware solution. It is not just a time series database. It is not just a visualization and reporting tool. Got it. Instead, it is a full and rich suite of monitoring infrastructure. Right. So we have what we call interfaces mm -hmm. that talk different protocols at the lowest level that talk to the devices and then feed the data up to the Pi server. And from the Pi server, data goes to the analytics and it also goes to the reporting tools. Now you mentioned something really important there at that lowest level uh, the, I'll call it the base connectivity, right? The, the real power of this system is that you can connect to multiple vendor devices across multiple protocols and it, it, the system doesn't care. It'll pull it all and, and aggregate that data, right? That's right. Okay. So at Chillof, there are 17 different vendor model combinations and we are pulling data from all those. Right. But our limit is far beyond that. Right. We have about more than 425 different interfaces. So we talk that many protocols. Some of them are standard, some of them are proprietary. Right, right. And then, and actually, so you're hitting on the next thing I want to ask you about, which was scalability. So scalability is a key feature of this product, right? That's absolutely right. So at Chillof, we, for the HVAC test, we'll have the maximum number of points, which would be close to 5,000 points for that for such a small space, 5,000 points, that's a lot. However, the limit of Pi system is far beyond that. Right, right. So we have deployments of almost 1.5 million points wow. at different sites. Wow. Right? And that was scalability in terms of number of points. Right. And then also the scalability in terms of data throughput. So which is events per second. We have tested our system for 80,000 events per second. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you, and you hit on another key there in terms of data distribution across the world, or I should say uh, the distribution of the various uh, solutions and devices that you're collecting from across the world. I mean, that's a key feature too. So for chill off, obviously we've got the control center, we've got the entire system located right next to the test environment, because it is, it's a test environment. But this system can be used across worldwide deployments of mission critical data centers, still pulling all that data back into a single view, right? That's right. Yeah. So we have enterprise customers who have sites across the globe. Right. And they, they pull data from all those sites into a central location. Right. And then one of the last things I want to ask you about, so I heard that there's a compression, I'll call it a compression feature, where given the large amounts of data that are coming through, you maintain the granularity of that data, yet you're saving a tremendous amount of disk space and, and um, I'll call it uh, access time within the system, right? That's right. Okay. So uh, what are the beauty of the compression algorithm we have is that it doesn't average out data after some period of time. It keeps right. the original fidelity, the granularity. Okay. Yet it saves on disk space and because uh, another um, uh, byproduct of that is that your data retrieval is faster. Exactly, exactly. And so basically lossless compression. That's right. right. Okay, okay. Now everything we've been talking about has been, uh, for the most part, generic to the product itself in terms of being able to deploy that, like I said, in, across multiple data centers worldwide. 
specific to the chill off, you'll see the diagram behind us. This is the actual network diagram across all the devices that were involved in just this test program. Again, across uh, 13 individual tests, and you said, seven, was it 17? 17. Yeah. 17 individual uh, vendor components, yep. right, or devices. So, um, right, and, and anyway, so huge amount of data just amongst this test program, right? Right, right. And so, as I said, that there were 5,000 points, and only 300 of them we are pulling once every minute. Okay. All the rest we are pulling once every 30 seconds. Wow. So wow. we are pulling really fast. And there's a huge throughput of data. Right, right. Now, like I said, this is the network diagram we're using. On the second slide, actually, is the um, dashboard view that we're using. So this is the actual dashboard that we've been using, the test engineers have been using as they move through each test and set up for the preliminary stabilization of the environment and then move through each test point. So why don't you take us through the dashboard? Right, so, so this dashboard, the top dial gauges, show whether the system is stable. Right. So if it is green, then it is stable. And the test engineers are supposed to start a particular test when all the dial gauges are green. Right. right. So we are pulling in all many different data but then, uh, this is an easy way of exactly. uh, showing that yep. a system is stable. Exactly. We have doing calculations at the back. Right. Yeah, exactly. And I know this is extremely valuable on our, for a while there, almost daily calls. Uh, as we could take a view into the system, we're not analyzing spreadsheets of data. It's very quickly, very quick and easy for us as a, as a core team to see where we're at each day with the test environments and then if we've got issues and that kind of a thing. Right. right. And once we have collected all the data, then researchers at LBNL are pulling the data into the spreadsheet very easily. Yes, right. And doing their analysis. Right. And we have 13 tests, 13 different equipment, and seven tests each. Right. So there's a lot of data. So this thing had to be easy. Exactly, exactly. And folks, I can't emphasize this enough. This solution has been absolutely critical to the success of this program. Without this, like I said at the beginning, there's no way we would have been able to pull all the data points that we're pulling from the various sensors, the cooling devices, the compute devices, uh, and the PDUs, you name it, and to make sense of that data, report it in an easy to use format, and, uh, and keep this program moving. So thank you. I'm really proud to be a part of the Chillup team, and I'm really glad that the Oasis of product and work helped the project. Oh, immensely. immensely. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, right, well, thank you. And uh, folks, so thanks for listening and stay tuned. We'll have some additional episodes coming up real soon. Thanks.